I'm not done yet. <laughs> so I finished my speech early, and I had this idea. I think it'd be fun to rap. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure most of you heard the song Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I rewrote the words a little. Here it goes. <laughs> Now this is a story all about how I came to be standing here before you right now and it'll just take a minute so sit right there and I'll tell you how I became valedictorian this year. Just north of Grand Rapids, born and raised in the classroom is where I spent most of my days studying, practicing, napping, that drool, carrying my books all over school. I had this feeling, I want to do good. It started way young in my childhood. My first report card came and I got all A's. My mom said, Terrell, you do is amaze. I worked my took us off day after day. Calculus, chemistry, literature, oy vey. Springtime AP test? Who wants to take it? What is this, AP chem? I might as well fake it. <laughs> freshman year, I thought, this ain't bad. Walking on the left side of the hallway making you mad. Is this what freshman year looks like? Hmm, this might be all right. But wait, sophomore year, American Lit and all that. Don't be here's my essay. Is there a lot to work at? I'm sure you think so. I know you'll be fair. I hope I'm prepared for SHEs next year. Well, Junior year, and this is what it's about. Two more years of classes, and then we will be out. I'm just trying to pass my AP test. This is the big year. I cried on my books, hoping my homework would disappear. I blinked for a sec, then senior year came, or then came senior year, college applications and searching for a career. If anything, I could say this year was shiznit, but I thought, nah, forget it. It went by a lickety split. I walked up to the podium about seven or eight, and I talked to the crowd. Yo, class of 2017, see you late. I looked at my peers, I was finally here to sit on my throne as valedictorian this year.